started with one. And, and I don't know, I've always felt like to be able to immerse yourself into a world that is better and the story just unfolds in ways that is so incredible. Did you, when you first... With death. That's so true. that, that yes, seems yes. pretty... pretty like, that's right, yeah. But, uh, you know, <laughs> check out the New York Times because... <laughs> I was feeling the romance. <laughs> it was sexy back in the 1850s. Yeah. Uh, Jane... And traditional and... Um, very unlike the parts that I've played. So sewed them all into these strange little books that were discovered after she died. Smart and clever, and I think gave us permission to make it a modern telling of her life, was that that uh, is right. awesome. So Jane is absolutely right in yeah. that her poemody in the show. Wow. Um, but yeah, for me, it was just about staying very rooted and small and introverted. And it, it's like she's a character that's she sort of doesn't know how to feel and think for herself because history that attracts both Emily and Austin to her. Um, and and I, I think that was so important to this character that... I said Spoiler! secret lover. <laughs> <laughs> I said, flowers. but there is... Like, this so is amazing. It was in the script. It was in the script. It was a special scene to yeah. shoot because I know you call it a sex scene, but I, David and Elena dare I say, very moving and upsetting scene with Prue. Okay, so we're not making this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> but even in, in some of the research, like they talked about Lavinia as having kind of her own language socially um, and being kind of ahead of the curve and kind of certain trends. So, so a real? dating ritual. That's real. That's real. It was, that was recording. That, that's one of I think that Vinny might have been the aggressor in that situation. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. They all were, they were an eccentric family. I mean, uh, this may have been a sign of the times, but... A little bit nicer, a bit less of a shyster. Sweet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a... Has, ...has done the same thing in that this show has so much of her imagination and it's not a response to what other people want or need. On stage. <laughs> yeah. I got a horsey. <laughs> and a horse. I get to ride my horse. <laughs> Jane. <laughs> It's so Austin, too. It really, it really is. Um, I, one of the major ways that women died at the time was that they got caught on fire because they were always bending over a stove. And open flames. Or, yeah, which were open, open flames. flames. You, can't, you can't take them off. They're not quick release clothes. So Elena greatly tested my contract and set my character on fire by the end of the season. <laughs> I, know. I will say there was one day on set, I think it was Adrian who's like, ah, oh, my pants are a little tight today. And I was oh like, my God. are they? <laughs> Could you get in them yourself? Could you take it off if also, you needed to? Men, just go on what? men's hair. Oh, just yeah. go on Pinterest and Google 1850s Be, men's hair or and watch the show. It takes way longer than ours. With really dirty hair. If you never uh, wash your hair, you can Our incredible you can mold it in hair designer, ways. Susie Mazarese's favorite person on set is Adrian. Adrian's hair takes longer to do in the morning than mine does. <laughs> It's and the results are glorious. <laughs> uh, well, I think there's, I think we're never going to get to the end of Emily's life. I'm guessing that that's not where our journey is going. But for me, a big realization was realizing that Lavinia found her to Emily's. Um, I found out that, uh, that Austin actually uh, experimented with being a teacher for a little while. Um, and he was actually, yeah, he 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 was a couple, I think, like hundred miles north. Because Sue was a maths teacher. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Minute. Um, it was before Sue. It was, yeah, and he actually was terribly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was terribly homesick. But I, and he, and he also, the best thing is that he didn't get along with the students at all. And so, I picture, I mean, I picture, no, I'm not. I, I picture Austin... Uh, like, ready to be torn apart. He was ready to be torn apart. Yeah. I, I don't have superhuman yeah. strength. No, 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 no. But it was like they have packed that thing yeah. with feather I split the pillow open and, like, they went everywhere. We were picking, like, feathers out of our hair for, for days. days. Yeah. It was madness. And everyone was just, like, picking them up of, like, strange pieces on set. Like, okay. Literally uh, chewing the scenery. Didn't end up making the scene, but I do Usually think... directors tell you not to chew the scenery. As an he also told you to play it... Play, harp, like play the banister the uh, rails like a harp string. Yeah. No, which actor... In the episode, you see Austin behind Bud. Yeah, that's I thought true. that was a really beautiful tie-in mm -hmm. to the siblings. Um, twin.